Hello everyone, welcome to Otago Talk. It's me, your boy, your host, OD, and today we'll be reviewing and analyzing chapter 219. Um, unfortunately, last week I was unable to post my review. I did shoot it. I did shoot it. However, for whatever reason, my audio wasn't recorded. So I had the option of just reshooting it, and I just didn't have the time or energy to do that, or sending it out like with garbage audio, which ugh, honestly, I wanted to do. I asked my friend about it. He said it wasn't too bad, but I decided not to. So unfortunately, I didn't get it out next week. So for the people that weekly check out my stuff and didn't get it last week, I truly, truly am sorry. I promise I won't make it a habit. I do feel really bad on Sundays when I don't get stuff out. Just things get hectic, stuff happens. So like I said, we'll try not to make it a habit. Anyway, if this is your first time on my channel, would really appreciate if you like, share, and subscribe. Would make this whole thing a lot easier on me and would get me on the road that I'm trying to get on. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the review. All right, guys, let's do this. This is going to be a quicker review because, like I said, it's been hectic. So I'm just going to try to touch on all the main points of this chapter. So chapter 219, three heroes. Essentially, our, our heroes, our scientists, our science group, have um, we have all the crucial components to space travel. We have the ship. We have the rocket, we have the personnel, we have the computational abilities, we have the food, anything you can think of, we are all set. We even have internet at this point. And so all now, all we need now is for the three people that are actually going to go to the moon. Now, obviously, this is Dr. Stone, that Senku, it was always going to be a given that he was going to go. We we're told that we need a pilot, a scientist, and a warrior. Honestly, I, I didn't think about that last one in Warrior, but it does make a lot of sense. I think I did say in one of my reviews that they're, they're at least going to need to take someone that knows how to fight in case shit goes down. So there's that. Once again, easily could have told you Senku was going. Easily could have told you uh, Ryusui was going to go. And then the third, I didn't know there was, I didn't know it was going to be exactly three. I knew that a lot of people couldn't go. I was thinking that maybe we were going to get, I was thinking maybe like five. That was the number I was thinking about in my head. But um, three seems like a nice number. You have to remember any amount of weight has to be calculated for. And so maybe five would have just been too troublesome. Also, something very, very interesting that, um, that they did that, honestly, I am not surprised by, but I didn't think of was the fact that they're going to travel petrified. So I think that's a genius idea. Um, it lets them conserve resources, not have to worry about, you know, refrigeration and all. And I mean, I'm sure they're still going to bring food and stuff, but it offsets a mess of problems they would have otherwise. In one of my reviews, I said that um, I expected that they would have Medusas on them so that if something were to go wrong in the vacuum of space or whatever, they could petrify themselves and be rescued. Honestly, I still think that something bad is going to really happen, but... Senku is going to save the day. He's going to protect us. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. He's going to make it so that uh, Ryusui and Tsukasa... Well, we don't know who it's going to be, actually. I'm going to get to that. But he's going to make it so that whoever traveled with him is able to make it back on their own. He's going to be like, I'm going to stay here. Because once again, Ryusui is the pilot. So as long as Ryusui is okay, they can probably get back if they're able to make this two-man ship. And Senku's going to be like, I'm going to stay here. Everyone's going to think he's dead, but he's going to have petrified himself. And then who knows? 50, uh, 50 like, I don't know, t five years, 10 years, 15 years. Like, maybe it's a, only a couple months. Um, They go back to the moon and they see Senku's body revive him. And once again, we see everyone's grandchildren and blah, 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 blah. Maybe even his love interest. Uh, I still think it's Yams or, <laughs> but. Um, no, Ko I forget who Kohaku's interested in. Probably uh, Sukasa, But maybe, you know, his friends decided to petrify themselves and wait for him. I don't know. 
I'm I'm starting to ramble a little bit. Let's get back to the chapter. Anyway, so um, in order to determine, I believe the warrior, they go through a series of trainings. And unfortunately, you guys didn't get to hear this in my last week's review because I didn't post it. But I predicted that this or the next chapter would be where we finally start training, and that I said I was gonna be super excited to see them do like uh, zero gravity training and. Uh, G, uh, inertia and G resistance training. And we didn't quite get it on the scale that I thought. I was thinking they were going to build like a centrifuge esque machine, which actually they did, but the whole chapter was a focus on it. It was kind of like just one panel because they're doing a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of stuff. They're doing uh, concentration, uh, sta uh, concentration uh, tests, uh, stamina tests, the whole nine, sw uh, not swimming, climbing and all that stuff. So we're looking for the warrior. And honestly, in the stone world, we have some really, really top, con really good top contenders. But obviously, no one measures up to Tsukasa. In all of this test, he's fucking killing it. And then we see at the end of the chapter, Kohaku is actually able to overtake him in, I believe, the rock climbing challenge. So I thought that was super dope. I honestly kind of felt bad because I totally, during this competition, I totally forgot about Kohaku. I forgot that she is a beast. She's a monster in her own right. I even forgot about the fact that when Tsukasa was first depetrified, she was like the first person to clash with him and, and like hold him off and stuff like that. She is a very respectable and admirable warrior. So I wouldn't be surprised if she went. I kind of wanted to be Tsukasa, but... Kohaku's kind of been like one of the main characters. is not, he was the main antagonist for a little bit, and then he just became a nice supporting character. But Kohaku has always been part of that like ensemble cast, if you know what I mean. So I totally can see, you know, it being her that goes. So also, if it is her that goes, maybe that like, maybe she does end up being uh, Senku's love interest. And maybe, maybe it's both of them uh both of them that petrify themselves or when she gets back she gets i don't know why am i why am i stuck on that theory so much <laughs> I, just, I just really think he's gonna have some kind of like hero moment where he has to save them and then everyone thinks he's dead but nah medusa petrification and so yeah that's pretty oh also apparently a bunch of people from all around the world not all around the world but uh some of the old casts that we haven't seen for a while are back uh the author i think is trying to play, downplay it by Oh, I didn't know. I didn't even, how did you guys get here so quickly? I didn't notice. It's like, oh, the internet. We've seen, we've been seeing each other so often that blah, blah, blah. And they said they don't need, you know, the majority of their people all over the world anymore now that they have internet, now that they can exchange information. Speaking of internet, thanks to that, um, because of the internet, uh, they're all starting to rebuild their various civilizations. So I'm excited for that as well for when Senku in the game gang come back from the moon i do think that there's going to be like a a, a chapter or two or, or whatever about like you know celebrating the return uh showcasing uh showcasing uh the various societies and uh re-evolution of uh you know communities and society and then maybe a little time skip where like we're almost close or kind of close to how things were but it's still kind of half primitive because it's going to take so much time, effort, uh, time, work, effort, uh, ingenuity, and just resources, materials, all that to get all the cities back, to build those skyscrapers, those towers, all the stuff we've done, it's gonna take quite some time. Also something I'm really looking forward to is Risui being like the richest motherfucker in the planet basically being the next like Mansa Musa or whatever, because he's going to own all the like rights to everything because he pretty much set it up during this whole process. So that'll be fun to see. So yeah, very, very excited about, um, so, you know, the potential of this story where it's going. Oh, one last thing. Really love that last fight between Tsukasa and Kohaku. She really held her own. I was kind of like, what the fuck is he doing? Is he salty that he lost? Is it just like a display of strength? Like, does he really want to go to the moon? Like, is there something there for him? But um, I, I didn't think he, I don't think he turned a traitor. 
but I was very confused by his actions just to find out that it was, you know, testing her, seeing where she was, being proud of her as a fellow warrior, blah, 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 blah. I thought that was really cool. So yeah, really liked the direction of the series. Really would have loved, you know, if we had more time with it, but all good things must come to an end. Can't wait to see how this Mangaka wraps it up. Anyway, that's my short review for the week. I apologize. Once again, I'm going to try to get it going. Things are rough. My Sundays are kind of hectic, but no excuses. I'm going to get this shit done. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Otaku Talk OD. It's me, your boy, your host. And you guys have a great weekend. Happy Thanksgiving coming up. My birthday's tomorrow, so wish me a good one. And I hope you guys have the greatest Thanksgiving and enjoy making memories and eating lots of food with your family. Happy holidays. Take care. Peace. Oh, like, share, and subscribe, please. Mm -hmm.